Hello everyone, my name is Larry Ritchie. I'm uh, here at uh, MEDC and I uh, delivered one of the sessions called The Life Cycle Cost of Free. And what I was doing is I was addressing the cost of software, the all-in cost, uh, not just royalty costs, let's say. And what I found, and I can prove authoritatively, is that the life cycle cost of software is a dime, any way you look at it. Now, there's a lot of skepticism. People don't really believe it's a dime. Some people have heard that you can get software for a penny, right? But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, how this might work. This is a little contrasting. Let me put it on the plate. You see it a little bit better. So there's a dime, there's a penny. Now people will ask, is it possible to get a full dime's worth of software for a penny? Who knows? See now, let's, let's just take a careful look. Watch closely. My fingers never leave my hands. Is a dime's worth of software the same as a penny's worth of software? Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Not bad, huh? Now, that's an illusion, but let's talk about the reality. When I say software cost is a dime, what I mean is development, introduction, maintenance, and end of life. There's three kinds of regions apart from the development cost of software, and certainly apart from the royalty. So what I talked about, and I hope you'll find it interesting, the presentation could be downloaded, is what are the individual costs you have to develop. That's your time, your tools, and your support structure. What is that going to cost you? You have to introduce the software, which means you need merchantability or fitness per purpose, whatever they call it. Then you're also going to have to use a, a, a maintenance program. Now, a lot of software is in operation for years and years, five, even ten years. How are you going to maintain it? Do you have a tool chain that's going to be maintained and available and something you can run five or six years from now to, if you have to make a fix because some piece of silicon went uh, end of life on you? And then finally, there's the end of life issue. Every product should wrap around and give birth to its new successor. How can you migrate that application? How can you make that application go to the next generation of hardware that we can't even imagine now? And that end of life might happen, I don't know, a decade off. How do you do it? Who's going to worry about some of the big changes, the multi-core issues, the exotic new networks that are coming in? So what I'm encouraging people to do is to just agree with me that software does cost a dime. I mean, you might think it costs a penny, <coughs> but Pennies add up, and if you don't watch them before you know, you're talking real money.